Scott Summers, a mutant who's better known as Cyclops. He is the leader of the X-Men and is Marvel's version of the Shoto. And according to Jules' Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently ranked as the first A tier character, which means he was almost S tier. But what is it about Cyclops that places him so high in the tier list? To find out, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Cyclops Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Cyclops moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, let's take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Optic Blast. The Optic Blast is Cyclops standard projectile. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The light punch version hits about two times and it is shot from a low position, while the Furious Punch variation hits twice and can be used for anti-air. When doing the Optic Blast in mid-air, both versions of the attack are shot horizontally. The Optic Blast is a beam style attack that is highly effective for chip damage and zoning the enemy. The Gene Splice is Cyclops' version of the Dragon Punch. To do the attack, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. The Light Punch version has minimum range, while the Fierce Punch variation has the most distance and the most height. Both versions of the Gene Splice scores for three hits, but you can add more hits by pressing the punch button. This move is considered to be one of the most devastating anti-air attacks in the game, and it is also one of the best assists available. And finally, it is very possible to do both hypers from this attack. Next on the list is the Cyclone Kick. This is the move where Cyclops does a two hit hurricane kick. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. The Cyclone Kick is a nice combo finisher but you need to be fairly close to the opponent for the move to connect. Also, this attack is effective on its own, but can serve as a linker to hyper combos. When using this attack, it's best using combos. The Optic Sweep is basically another variation of the Optic Blast. Cyclops will shoot an optic blast at the ground, causing it to ricochet into the opponent. To do the attack, do a quarter circle down plus any punch button. This attack can be used as a combo finisher, but the thing to remember is that it actually hit mid-range. So unfortunately, enemies can block it while standing. The next move is called Rapid Punches. Cyclops will unleash a flurry of attacks for six hits. To do this move, charge back for two seconds and press forward in any punch button. To get six hits, you have to match on the attack buttons. There we go. Also, make sure you're fairly close when performing the move. 
The rabbit punches are a nice rush attack, and I'm very happy to see he still has his move from X-Men, Children of the Atom. Similar to the rapid punches, Cyclops would dash in and perform a net breaker on the opponent. To do this move, charge back for two seconds and press forward in any kick button. There's a bit of lag on startup, but this move comes out pretty fast. I would recommend only doing the move every once in a while so it won't become predictable. Cyclops has three throws in this game. Press forward and fierce punch for an overhead body slam. Press forward and fierce kick for optic blast to the body. Press forward and fierce punch in midair for an optic blast slam to the ground. Okay. Cyclops has three ways to do a launcher. The first way is by pressing down forward in Fierce Punch. The second way is by pressing Light Punch twice. And the third and final way is by pressing down forward plus Fierce Kick. Cyclops only has a few command normals in the game. To do a double jump, press up twice on the D-pad. You can even do a double jump from a super jump. Press Fierce Punch to do an optic bullet. You can do this attack while crouching as well. By pressing Fierce Kick twice, Cyclops will do a standing Fierce Kick into a second flip kick. Press down back plus fierce kick to do a lay flip throw. Here we go. Press down a fierce punch while in midair to do a hammer punch. Press down plus light kick in midair to do a downward kick. Press down plus fierce kick in midair for this command normal. You can do Cyclops taunt by pressing the select button. Come on. Come on. If you're playing the Dreamcast version, then press light kick plus start to do the taunt. Come on. So, if you played X-Men Children of the Atom, you should be very familiar with this move. The Mega Optic Blast was Cyclops' original hyper. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move works well from a distance and it racks up hits very fast. Unfortunately, it's really hard to combo into, but this move does excellent chipping damage. Also, being that this hyper is a beam type attack, a blocking Iceman will receive no chipping damage. Iceman receives no chipping damage whatsoever. All he has to do is block it. The Mega Optic Blast can be done in midair. The second and final hyper I would like to cover is called the Super Optic Blast. This is the move where Cyclops shoot a big optic blast at the enemy. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. And you can actually move it around as you're doing it. The Super Optic Blast is an excellent secondary hyper. While it's not as large as the Mega version, it has great speed. Because of this, the Super Optic Blast is really easy to combo into. As I previously mentioned, this hyper can be done out of the Gene Spice and perform in midair. There we go. Here's a combo I came up with while making this video. 
Jump in with Fierce Kick, then press Light Punch, Light Kick, Fierce Kick, Quarter Circle Back plus Fierce Kick, then Quarter Circle Forward plus both Kick Buttons. This combo is easy to perform and you can add on to it by using an assist. Here's what to expect when you use Cyclops as an assist character. Cyclops Alpha Assist will attack the enemy with a Light Punch Optic Blast. His Beta Assist will use a Fierce Punch Gene Spice. And his Gamma Assist will perform a Fierce Kick Cyclone Kick. Overall, Cyclops is rated as the best Shoto in his game and he's very good at what he does. He's an all-around solid fighter and can be played both offensively and defensively. He's not an S tier because he doesn't have anything that opens up the opponent easily. However, Cyclops can be a menace once he goes on the offensive and most of his combos can lead into a hyper. With that being said, here are some tips to help you play better with Cyclops. Use both versions of the Optic Blast when zoning the opponent. Also, add in the air version of it as well. Cyclops Beta Assist can juggle the opponent, which can allow the point character to follow up with the combo. Cyclops Optic Blast and its Hypers does great chip damage, but remember that this is a no-go when it comes to a blocking Iceman. Cyclops has an infinite combo, but it is extremely hard to pull off and it is an advanced technique. Whenever using Cyclops as an assist, make sure to use the beta one, which is the Furious Punch Gene Splice. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.